Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to talk about the app that I use to pass my CDL permit. Also, at the very end, I have an announcement. So if most of this information you already know, skip to the very end. Stay tuned and I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys. So if you go into your app store, if you have Android, um, or it's it's on both iOS and uh, Android. Um, just search for CDL test. Oops, CDL test. All right, there's gonna be a lot of different um, apps. I actually downloaded uh, this uh, yellow one down here. It's called the uh, DMV CDL Genie, but don't do, don't download that one. That one's good too, but. Um, I actually preferred the orange one right at the middle that says CDL test prep. This is the app that I've uh, found to be very, very helpful for me. And like I said, I've, I actually downloaded both of them. So I use both of them, but I'm going to explain to you why I actually like the CDL test prep uh, a little bit more than the other one. So anyways, you're going to uh, download it onto your phone. When you download it, open it up. In the beginning, it has you select the state that you're in. So that, that way it focuses on all the questions that are available according to the DMV in your state. So just make sure that you select the state that you're on. The very first thing you're going to want to work on is your general knowledge, your air brake tests or questions, and your combination vehicles. Those are the three minimum items that you need to complete in order for you to get your permit. Now, the reason why I like this app so much is because when you click on, let's say, general knowledge, you're going to open it up. It has a total of 13 different parts. Every part has a specific amount of questions. You go through every single part. And the reason why I like this app so much is because there's nothing really you study. You just go straight to the questions. And so I know, I know what you're thinking, you're probably gonna say, but I don't know the answers to the questions. I've always thought about it this way. I'm the type of person that wants to grab the bull by the horns. So let's say we go to part one. Most of these questions will have one in there that is very, very just out of this. It doesn't make any sense. It's completely like, wow, like really? Do they even have this as an option? The reason why I like this app so much even if you get the wrong answer, it doesn't just skip and it actually tells you the right answer and it gives you a description of the right answer. But the better, the best thing about it is that it actually brings this question that you missed back in the line. And so at the end of the, at the end of the day, when to complete part one, you have to answer every question at least two or three times. And again, like I was mentioning to you guys, for me, I'm not that kind of person that can just grab a book, start reading, because you can go to the DMV and ask them for their book, but I can't really sit down, focus, and just read, 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 and absorb all the information to answer these questions the right way. I like to do repetition. It's a different way of learning, so, you know, and this app is perfect for that because you repeat the same question at least two or three times. By the time you're done, you actually memorize the question, right? Um, so that's the one biggest reason why I like this app so much. And this is the app that I use to pass my permit test within, a, I think it was about five days. So it's a lot of questions and I understand you do have to dedicate time to it. So find yourself a good space uh, where it's silent and it's quiet and just keep answering the, the questions. Even if you get it wrong, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Keep repeating it until you get it right. And eventually you're going to go through part one, part two, all the way towards the bottom at part 13. It does look like it's a long way down, but it's okay. After you're done with part 13, I don't know if you see at the very bottom, right? There says a test uh, button. You click on that button and it's going to give you the test. So based on all the questions and all the steps that you just did and all the questions you answered, it's actually going to test you. You can actually select the level of testing you want. 
the first one is the easiest it gives you a lot of feedback right away uh, and the, the very uh, hardest one uh, you get absolutely no feedback whatsoever so it kind of makes it, it you get that feel like if you're at the DMV testing in that moment it doesn't tell you absolutely no feedback whatsoever until you're completely done with the test then it gives you a uh, it scores your test it tells you if you passed or not and what questions you got wrong um, but anyways let's move on this is just for general knowledge now remember that's one out of three now you got to go to the air brake test or questions and this one's not that long this one only has eight parts to it and you do the same over and over again you go to part one answer all the questions even if you don't know them just answer to the best of your ability and if you get it wrong it's going to give you the right answer a description of the right answer and you're going to keep moving and moving so uh, i think you get the point right keep doing that and at the very end you also have another tab for a test and again select the level of testing basic or really hard and then you go ahead you pass hopefully you pass and you keep moving on now the last one you would do is the combination vehicles and like I mentioned to you you only need these three in order for you to go to the DMV and actually complete your uh, permit testing that's all you need all the other ones are endorsements like on here you have the hazmat endorsement a lot of people want that hazmat endorsement because if you ever do have a load that requires that endorsement it's a higher risk so there's higher pay um, there's the passenger vehicle endorsement so if you ever want to drive a vehicle that has passengers you need an endorsement for that so even if you have your CDL license it doesn't mean you can just go ahead and start driving a bus you have to have that endorsement it's available for you right here if you decide to do that you need an endorsement for doubles and triples as well go ahead and every single one of these is exactly the same way it has different steps you answer the questions whether you get it right or wrong if you get it wrong it's going to give you the right answer and a description of the right answer so keep moving on and you take the test now when i originally downloaded this app a long time ago it allowed me to take the general knowledge test at the end I think it was as many as times as I needed and it even recommended if to take the general knowledge test at the very bottom right I think it said three or five times and if you pass the test three or five times they tell you you're actually ready to go to the DMV I suggest don't just pass it once pass it at least twice minimum if you can do more do more you don't want to waste that much time you don't have to but at least do pass the each individual one pass the test at least twice i can say with ease that you are pretty much ready to go take that test at the dmv so there you go guys i'm basically just spreading the love because i didn't know about this app until somebody told me it really helped me a lot and like i said it took me about a week of really dedicating uh, time to this because it is a little time consuming but I memorized most of the questions, if not all of them. And then again, yeah, I just went to the DMV here in Georgia. You don't have to make an appointment. It's a walk-in. You wait your turn. And then you just ask, you let them know you want to take the test. They put you in a room. No phones, no nothing. Take the test. And if you pass, right then and there, they give you a permit. They don't actually give you the license yet, but they give you like a, a page indicating that you actually... Uh, pass your permit and stuff like that so uh, again if you know anybody that wants to take their permit test for their CDO license let them know about this app it's free you don't have to pay a single dime for it it's free and it's very very helpful if a lot of people if somebody that you know can't really sit down and focus reading a book I'm telling you right now this app is gonna do wonders for you so spread the love spread the word let anybody know if about the app and if you're planning on taking the test you know hopefully you pass it and you can proceed with your uh, CDL journey if you're still here I'm gonna ask you to please smash that like button all right so coming up next I'm gonna talk about the announcement that I have for you guys 
I also want to call it a special, special golden nugget. So here we go. I hope this app really helps everyone that uh, is in need of some sort of tool that can help them pass their actual permit test. And like I told you, uh, it definitely helped me. I am very sure and confident that it's also going to help you as well. So spread the love, spread the word, let anybody else know that it is in need of this tool as well. Um, also, I wanted to mention that, man, there's been a lot of uh, gratitude in me uh, recently. Uh, there's a particular YouTuber that just recently made a video and his video, it touched my heart and my soul. Everything he said was on point. Uh, this guy is the real deal. Um, so I know I don't have that many followers or viewers, but the little bit of followers and viewers that I do have, um, I'm gonna ask you for a favor to go and actually check his uh, YouTube channel out and check out all his videos and his journey from start to now. He's gone very, very far. But what I really love about this guy is that not only he's in the trucking industry, which I'm in also, but a lot of his videos are very, very, I was gonna say motivational, but there's a big difference between motivational and inspirational. But I actually have to go online, Google search, and figure out the difference between motivational and inspirational, and I came to find out that's a huge difference. And for me, this YouTuber, Ken V, K-E-N-V, he's an inspirational speaker as well. So not only he's in the business, not only he's young and he has a couple of trucks to himself, and uh, he writes books and he does all this other stuff, he's an inspirational speaker. And I just wanna read what mo motivational speaker is versus an inspirational speaker. Motivational speaker, according to the Google search, says typically, typically helps companies, leaders, and individuals become more effective and enthusiastic about what they are already doing. An inspirational speaker takes motivational speaking to the next degree. And then under inspirational speaker says, an inspirational speaker talks more about effectiveness. Their mission is to inspire you to do things you are fearful of or you have not even imagined about at first. These speakers are visionaries who ask you the what if question and bring you to doing. They are exceptional leaders who want everybody to engage in their vision. They help you move your mindset from pain to growth all the way to accomplishment. And when I read that, I was like, damn, that hit the spot. For me, Ken V is an inspirational speaker. This guy is a real deal, so that's why I'm telling you that. I know I don't have that many uh, followers or views or viewers, but you know, if you do watch my video, I highly recommend this guy, uh, his YouTube channel, um, The Rare Few. That's his branding, that's not actually the name of his channel, but the name of his actual channel is Ken V. So go find him, watch his videos. That very last one that he just did, like I said, that, that was fire. That touched my heart and soul and it hit me in the spot. And he is the reason why actually, and I told him this, the reason why I actually started to um, document my journey here on YouTube. That was one of my biggest fears is basically going on live and documenting because uh, of failure and judgment and stuff like that but after many videos i i took that leap of that leap of faith that he always talks about so anyways i'm gonna leave it at that go check his channel out give him a like on all his videos and subscribe to his channel this guy's a real deal again thank you so much for watching please help me out with this uh with the like so smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you can and ring that notification icon so that if I make another video like this one, you get notified right away.